trips that you plan for the next whole week Been too long for a n- so cheap And your flex so deep, your sex so deep You got it, girl, you got it Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel Here we are with <laughs> Pup Boxes Yes, Theo It's Pup Box time I have both February and March's Pup Box So let's just get right into it Cause we've been slipping on our pimping, right, Theo? We've been slipping on our pimping, <laughs> but we here now, and this is gonna be February's box first. So, you guys all know this is what the box looks like. Pup box by Petco. Let's just open it up. Uh oh. Inside, I guess they weren't being fancy this time. We just took this. Um, let's see. Is this the insert? Here is the insert. And it's just talking about worms and fleas and ticks. Ways to prevent it. Um, brown worms and hookworms, the most common worms, you know, in your pups and also heartworms too. I wonder why they don't mention that there. Heartworms is like really a major one. Teddy, we, we know you here, Teddy. Teddy said hi y'all. He in the background. I don't know if you guys heard him. Um, this talks about oh, so heartworms i guess these are considered heartworms okay it says what are heartworms um they're round worms that look like thick spaghetti they do they look like little noodles <laughs> um they can mature and make produce offspring and live inside your dog for five to seven years good fact never knew that um can lead to heart failure lung disease and other organ damage guys they're so loud right now like it's literally three o'clock in the morning and they are just lit <laughs> um it's saying how do your dogs get them they get them through the bite of an infected mosquito which opens up a wound for infected larvae to enter into the dog and mature um infected dogs cannot pass heartworms to other dogs that's a good fact i never knew that um and they are present in our 50 states basically, but it's uh, more common in warmer regions in the south. It says what are the signs, you know, if you wanna know. Um, usual signs are persistent cough, lack of energy, especially during exercise. Other signs are low energy, lethargy, change in appetite, weight loss, breathing difficulty, asthmatic symptoms are fainting and collapsing. So good things to look at and prevention we all know you guys seen those um what else commercials those pet commercials i forget what they're called <laughs> um it says even with routine testing heartworms can be hard to detect so prevention is key the most common option is prescription pills that kills heartworms at the larva stage taken monthly or semi-annually um and they say there's also topical skin products so pretty simple pretty basic things they have those um what are those things called they have the commercials it's like pet med i don't know i don't know what it's called and this is about fleas and ticks talks about fleas and ticks we all know about fleas and ticks um actually teddy at my last house um i had like a very palm tree tropical it was very tropical in my backyard and we had a lot of ticks and my dogs like had ticks and ticks are most definitely nightmares one they can pass unknown disease to both your dog or into you as a human well not unknown but lyme disease stop trying to sell out the box <laughs> no but lyme disease to you you know and, and your pet and you know it's just one of those things ticks are definitely um crazy and it depends on what type of tick deer ticks brown ticks what brown dog ticks whatever they're called they're they're a different type of ticks so, um, yeah, and ticks come from anywhere. So, definitely a nightmare. Um, the ticks were really bad. We actually had a tick infestation at my house. Like, they were inside the house. I don't know, like, when they did renovation to the house or something. Um, did they, like, not put the proper sealant and stuff like that? But ticks are a nightmare. I'm not even going to lie to you. So, we say no to ticks. We say no to fleas. You guys know you can get your dogs washed with the, you know, wash them with the shampoo, the flea and tick shampoo. And everything will be, I wouldn't say okay, but better. Just preventative measures um, for ticks. But that's all this is saying. So let's get right into February's box. This is February's box. You just want to get in here so bad, huh? This cell is lagging so fast. We have this thing here. I'm not sure what this is. 
because Teddy stole the insert, so he has that. But it was some type of bone thing that they can chew on. Teddy, you're moving the camera. I was just interrupting his whole life. But we have this here. And then, oh, how cute. What is this? Uh, um, a dragonfly, right? This is what it looks like. I don't know if this is squeak. Oh, my lord, it squeaks. It's one of those uh, chew guard toys. So let's cut this off because someone's anxious to get it. Huh? You just love squeaky toys. I'm just going to sit here in my face, huh? If I give this to you, are you going to leave? Or are you going to stay here for the video? Wait, it's another tag. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Here. Uh-oh, I cut some of this fur off. I cut some of the fur. Here, son, take it. He grabbed it by the eyes. Oh, and he lost it. Okay. Oh, how cute. It's a hat. I'm, I think it's a toy. It's a winter hat. Oh, yeah, it's a toy. Aw, oh, man, I thought it was an actual hat. Can I put it on you, though, Theo? Will you let me? Will you let me put this hat on you? E. Well, I, you know, I don't know. It doesn't have things for your ears. So let's see. Come on. Don't move. Come on, let me put the hat on you. Let's see. <laughs> he dropped it. Okay, and then there's another type of little bone thing. I never really give these to my... I have so many of these just laying around for me. Pup boxes, I never really give these to the dogs. But Theo is clearly interested. Let's see, what does this one say? It's a collagen stick. Small size. Here, you want this? I'm not going to hold it for you to lick it. You have to take it from me. Yeah, go take that. So, he's gone. He's busy now. <laughs> and then, of course, pet treats. These are roast the beefy bars. Um, what are these? Wheat, corn, and soy-free soft bacon in the USA. I think these are the pup box. Yeah, these are Petco pup box brand. So, as always, I always like to throw this in there in every video. Where did he put that thing at? Um, if it says, like, pup box brand. Oh, my gosh. Tell you exactly not with this hat. If it says Pup Box brand, you can find this on the Petco or Pup Box website. As always, you know I leave the website down below, but you can find it there and you can buy this individually. You do not have to buy the whole box if you don't want to subscribe to the box. But you can always go on their website and purchase their toys, their treats, or whatever they have on there individually. Um, if you do not want to subscribe to a box, just so you guys know, if you are new here and you um, you know. You don't know about the boxes, but you don't have to subscribe to a box. You can go shop individually for these things. So let's see what these, these kind of smell weird. Here. Well, Teddy. Here, Theo. Here, son. So I like to like give them the treat to see if they like it. They both took theirs. Um. How nice. And then these things right here, it says the ingredients in this is beef, pea flour, pea protein, chickpea, coconut glycerin, beef bone, broth, sweet potato, flaxseed, cane molasses, salt, lactic acid, mixed tasso forest, and that's a natural source of vitamin E. And each tree is going to be 27 kcals per tree. So, yeah. Nice. Okay. So that's February's pup box. Let's jump right on into marches and then we'll see when April comes. Oh gosh. I guess I'll put this down because I Teddy likes stuff like this. Um I just never really give them to this because I don't want them to take them like under the bed. Oh, this is a toy. This is just a stick toy. It's not even a treat. I just thought I thought it was a treat with plastic or something on it, but it's really just a toy I can see here. It says um Spunky pup. Okay, so just add it to the toy collection on the floor. Ha, <laughs> that was so loud, right? Okay, so here, let's get into um March's box. Ooh, you guys got treat treats in this one. The little thing. What is this insert? This insert looks just like the last insert, but no, it's not. It's different. This talks about COVID. Um I can get it out. So this is this insert. This says Pup Box and Chill. 
what does this talk about? Oh, it talks about cuddling with your dog. It says it might seem like a passive activity, but there's actually a lot of art and science to it. I mean, of course, like affection is something we all crave, humans, animals, you know, whatever. So basic common sense, it's good to cuddle with your dog. Um, oh, this is interesting. Signs that your, your grown pup is bonded to you. They make great eye contact and melt your heart with those eyes. They're comfortable and relaxed around you. They rest their head on your lap, foot, clothes, or anything that has your scent. They miss you and welcome you home with crazy wags. They look for and check in on you in new environments. Okay, nice. So how cute. So this talks about how your dogs are bonded to you. And then it talks about cuddling. Um, some breeds tend to be more affectionate and colorier than others. So golden Retrievers, Labs, Pomeranians, Chihuahuas. Okay, so you guys know. Theo back here is a Maltese Poodle mixed with Chihuahua, and he has a mix of pit bull. Don't ask me why. So his mom was a pit bull mixed with Chihuahua. Her um, her mom was the pit bull, and her dad was the Chihuahua. I want to say, and a friend gave her to me, and then she had puppies. Therefore, with Teddy, Teddy is a Maltese Poodle, and that's how we get Theo. He's a pit bull Chihuahua Maltese poodle and um the pit bull slash chihuahua side of him oh my gosh he like just very affectionate he loves to cuddle he loves to kiss he loves all of those things teddy on the other hand the maltese poodle poodles are very mean maltese very mean they're both very mean dogs i think he just got at me for saying that <laughs> um i think they're both really mean dogs so him, his affectionate, like, he gets weirded out if I, like, pick him up and I'm holding him for too long. He's really weird about it. He starts looking at me like, you need to put me down and now. Um, he's not real affectionate. He doesn't really like kisses. Maybe, like, a kiss a day is good for him. But other than that, no, he's not affectionate. So that's very true. Chihuahuas are just really, oh my gosh. There are, like crazy they're like nuts but they are really affectionate um this just talks about how to cuddle with your dog don't force it if they're tint if they're tinting up or painting their ears and just let them be let them relax um if they don't like to be held then do belly rubs ear scratches or gentle back massages going back to teddy he doesn't really like to be held i'll hold him every now and then give him a little hug so he can feel some loving in his heart but most of the time he likes for me to rub him with my foot that's what he likes he likes to like take his body and like rub it under my foot so he likes that and he sometimes like <laughs> belly rubs um and it just talks about how your idea of cuddling might be different from your dogs like your dog may have a different idea when it comes to cuddling so it says you should follow their lead and learn to communicate in their love language okay our dogs are different they all have different personalities so that's you know so that talks about that and this talks about COVID. It says COVID go away, but mom and dad, please stay. So just a nice little message about COVID, you know. Um, saying to talk to your vet if your dog is uh, having signs of distress. Just solutions that help them relax and chilling out with them and cuddling with them. Because, you know, very well dogs also. Dogs, cats, animals, they experience depression. They can feel your vibe. They know when your momentum is off and it's going to put them down. So it just talks about, you know, ways to like de-stress your animal, especially in this time, you know, the sickness that's going on. Okay, so let's get into the box. Wow, we got some treats. They got popcorn, a popcorn toy. It's a, it's a squeaky one. Um, The question is, oh, there they are. I was going to say, what did we do with the scissors? So yes, they got a little popcorn toy. How cute is that? Teddy's waiting for it. Here, Teddy. You want it? You can have it, son. Take it. We have this. It says it's a can toy. It's like a little Coca-Cola bottle. See the little top there? I'm assuming you can put something in here. You can put something in here. So that's that. It's a little Coca-Cola toy. And then we have this cheese bread from Braza Dog with real Parmesan cheese. So you have to make this. It says it gives you what you need. You need egg, 
tablespoon of water and a tablespoon of oil and you just add it to this pouch so this is this guys you guys they're fighting over the toys like i, j I literally do four toys on the floor just now and they are like and battle over the toys there's so many toys across my floor from all these boxes but this is this so it's to make your dog some cheese bread and it comes in these little pouches um how cute maybe i'll make this for my little pups too. <laughs> teddy's like make it right now that's how he looked at me he said get up and go make it now so this is just the ingredients, parmesan cheese, tapa poi flour, milk powder, and baking powder. Okay, so this is from a company called Braza Dog. And this talks about how your dog may like to cook with you. She leaves a note here. It says, cooking for my family is my passion. My childhood memories are centered around the smells of traditional Brazilian dishes. I bought this love of food here to the United States where I cook for my friends and my adopted fur babies. Braza Dog Cheese Bread is special to me because it is the most iconic Brazilian dish made grain free and packed full of Parmesan cheese. It smells delicious and warms the heart. For sure your furry friend will love it as much as we do. So just something cool you and your dog, you guys can make it together. Well your dog can't really make it but they can sit there and watch it and enjoy it. <laughs> Um, then we have this dog stoppers treats for dogs, and these are salmon flavors. These are like little gummy, uh -huh, um, gummy things. And this is from a Spunky Pup. So, spunkypup.com is where you can find these at. It's no wheat, no corn, no soy, no sugar added, and they're semi moist treats. Let's see what these look like. I'm curious to see. Oh, these are not gummies. I thought they were gummies. They look like little gummies because of the box, right? These are something else. Let's see what these look like. Um, oh, they are gummies. I don't know. They're like a little bit hard. So this, these are what they look like. They're a little hard, but then they're also a little soft. I need to actually feel one of these. Teddy is patiently waiting for his serving. We know. Oh, these stink. It says they're salmon flavor. This is how big they are. Pop one on the floor for Teddy. And then Teddy is not. He doesn't want it. So that's this guy. I'm just gonna put this back in the box. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Teddy likes fishy stuff. Oh never mind, he just took it. <laughs> So that's that. Um, if you guys want this, again, it's from Spunky Pup. That's S-P-U-N-K-Y-P-U-P, -P, if you're interested in that. And the last but not least, we have this. My dog's had this one before. So we've had this one before. It's a duck and mango chew. I'll just split this in half and um, let the dogs have them. Because, yeah, there's only one and there's two of them. So these are real bendy. See, easy to split. So, boys, I'm gonna give both of you guys one of these, and I believe this is a pup box brand. I want to say it is. Um, it has turmeric in it, and this is 81 k cow per treat. I'm trying to see, is this a pup box brand? Yeah. Oh, you know what? No, it's not. This is by Prized Pet, and it just says the ingredients here are duck, chickpea, flour. Pea flour, coconut, glycerin, mango, brewer's yeast, salt, turmeric, lactic acid, and citric acid. So that's what comes in this. And again, this is from Prized Pup. So, yeah. I just broke it in half. I'm going to give it to the doggies. But yes, guys, those are the two pup boxes. Sorry, guys. I'm so delayed with them. You guys have two in a row. And then hopefully April, you know, will be on time. On this March box, it says they didn't actually send a box out until the 22nd. So, Literally, I just got that box. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry, Teddy or Theo's not up here to say goodbye. And, um, yeah, Teddy's not all out on the bed. So, I'll see you guys in the next pup box. Take care. Bye. Body girl, you got, yeah. Pretty little thing, you gotta pick it, now you wildin'.
She took it off the line on my list. Waiting, you the damn looking fine. Talking while you come around and I decide.